We are joined now by Mark Batshaw, the incoming president for the American Pediatric Society. Mark, it's great to see you. Nice being here. All right, let's talk a little bit about PAS. What are you hoping to get from the meeting this year? Well, every year it's very exciting to see what's new in child health research and ranging from what we call T0 to T4 research, going all the way from basic science to community research and looking through the schedule, there are just uh, an incredible number of uh, new areas that are being expressed and looked at. Well, congratulations on your new role after this meeting, you're president right. of your society. And what does that mean to you? What are you thinking about looking at the year ahead? Well, the American Pediatric Society is, is sort of the senior leadership in academic uh, pediatrics. It's composed of uh, the uh, professors of pediatrics, chairman of pediatrics, and so it's really our responsibility to develop a pipeline for the future for pediatric investigators. And so a lot of the work in the next year is going to be looking at increasing diversity and developing pipeline approaches so that uh, junior investigators really have a chance of being successful. Talk to me a little bit about your session. What will you be discussing? Well, my own research uh, focuses on uh, gene therapy and inborn errors of metabolism. And I think one of the intriguing things that's happening now is gene editing and the issue of being able to actually, at least in animal models at this point, uh, make corrections for birth defects that occur and in a way that we've never been able to do before. What are some of the challenges facing just this area of study? What are some of the things that you'd really like to see tackled or accomplished? Well, of course, the real problem is whether we have enough money to do everything that we need. Okay. Uh, the NIH funding is, uh, is stable, but it's flat. And so we really have to look at other approaches to increasing uh, support for pediatric research through foundations, through philanthropy, and through commercialization of uh, products. Okay, very good. And as far as the attendees, what would you like them to walk away with this year? Well, you know, there are more than 7,000 people who are going to uh, be here, and each of them is going to want to take something different away. And I just hope that each of them gets out of it what they really uh, want, and we'll come back next year. Well, Mark Batshaw, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure. Pleasure coming here.